Piranhas. The name alone strikes fear into the hearts of many, and with good reason. Malcolm Walker here again with an amazing fact. These fish are perfectly adapted for their predatory lifestyle, which has led to them becoming apex predators in their native South American habitats. But just how dangerous are they really? Let's find out. In today's episode, we will be answering the question, what makes piranhas so scary? We'll be looking at their teeth, their hunting techniques, and some of the reported attacks on humans. Piranhas are members of the Cichlidae family of fish, which contains over 100 different species. They live in rivers and lakes in South America, most notably the Amazon River Basin. Some piranha species prefer to live in the warmer, more oxygen-rich waters of the upper sections of rivers, while others prefer the cooler, deeper waters downstream. The specific species found in these areas dictate the types of prey that piranhas must compete with, and consequently, it's the niche they occupy within the food chain. This is why some piranhas are more generalist feeders, while others are more specialized. For example, some will feed almost exclusively on insects, whereas others will feed almost exclusively on other fish. Despite their relatively small size, most measuring around 20 centimeters in length. Piranhas are apex predators in their native habitats, only rivaled by larger predatory fish, such as electric eels and some species of catfish. This is due to their razor-sharp teeth and powerful jaws. They are capable of delivering a bite force of around 300 pounds per square inch, enough to easily slice through flesh. Their teeth are constantly being replaced throughout their lives, so they are always razor-sharp. Piranhas usually attack their prey from below, using their large mouths to clamp down on their prey before it has a chance to react. If you've ever seen one of these fish open its mouth, you know that a mouthful of razor-sharp teeth is not something to mess around with. Most attacks by piranhas occur during feeding frenzies, which can sometimes involve hundreds of fish attacking a single meal. These frenzies usually happen when the water level is low and there is a lot of competition for food. In these situations, piranhas will often work together to isolate a potential meal, making the kill much easier. There are also instances where a school of piranhas will isolate a human swimmer, but these cases are extremely rare. There was a well-documented case in Brazil in 2009, where a man was nearly killed by a school of piranhas. He was swimming in the Piranha River when he felt a sharp pain in his leg. When he pulled himself onto his surfboard, he saw that his leg was covered in blood. As he made his way back to shore, the piranhas continued to attack him, biting off chunks of his leg. It took several people to finally beat the piranhas away. Thankfully, the man survived the attack and was able to make a full recovery. However, this is definitely an extreme and very unfortunate example of what could happen if a school of piranhas were to isolate a human swimmer. Although piranhas have a reputation for being extremely aggressive, this is not always the case. In most cases, they will only attack if they feel threatened or if they are protecting their young. Most piranhas are not particularly territorial, but will defend their space if approached. In their natural habitat, Piranhas are generally not considered to be man-eaters. Attacks on humans are rare and usually occur when humans enter piranha-infested. Waters with bleeding wounds or are engaging in activities that provoke the fish, such as spearfishing. This does not explain why there are reports of piranhas attacking humans in aquariums. Well, it's believed that this behavior is the result of the fish being fed by visitors to the aquarium. This is known to cause piranhas to become aggressive and territorial. Perhaps the most feared piranha of all is the red-bellied piranha. This species is known for its extremely aggressive behavior and has been responsible for several attacks on humans. One of the most famous attacks involving this species occurred in the species in the Orinoco River. A group of fishermen were working in the river when they were attacked by a swarm of red-bellied piranhas. One of the fishermen was bitten on the hand and lost part of his finger. Another was bitten on the thigh and nearly bled to death. Both men survived the ordeal, but this is a prime example of just how dangerous piranhas can be. As we can see, piranhas are extremely dangerous predators, but attacks on humans are relatively rare. Most attacks occur when humans enter piranha infested. Waters with bleeding wounds or are engaging in activities that provoke the fish, so if you ever find yourself in piranha territory, be sure to take all necessary precautions. Thanks for watching.
Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more animal videos in the future. Thank you for watching.